Hello everybody, it's your old friend RJ City. Why waste time? We're almost near the end. Let's just get through this entirely miserable experience. Here's what I've opened so far. There's nothing I can do with it. I'm, maybe I'll just smash them against my face when I'm done. There's, I think, less than 10 packs left. Let's get through it. Let's just pray for no more doubles, please. These are, these are doubles. These are definitely, yeah. Yeah, these are all male profile cards. <laughs> Very interesting. Here's a Mark Limbaker, which is, is, I don't mind the duplicates of something like this. Uh, I'll put them in my uh, bike wheels, and they'll go, and I'll go, that's, you know the sound of that, kids? That's Mark Lynn Baker. So I'm excited about that. He looks very, oh, I'm another double. He understands how many doubles are in this uh, box. Urkel does not understand it at all, thinks this is the first and only time you'll be seeing him, and isn't that great? And, much like his role, it wears immediately thin. Here's Dave Coulier, sweater time. Doing that thing. Maybe dipping his toe. Maybe saying, uh, maybe I could do some dramatic work. Who knows? Who's to say? Uh, here's if we're smoldering. Smoldering. And that is the difference between perfect strangers. Is the earnestness. Is everything okay? And it's, and it's Bronson Pink Show saying, let's get down to business. Just clearing the table and looking at you like that. He sets the table. He clears the table. I hope that's ultimately clear. And here's uh, Jaleel White taking the glasses off. It's fucked. He was so into the Steve, the branding was so strong into the Urkel role that seeing something like this is still alarming to me. He tried very hard to get out of it. Look, it made him a lot of money. It made him a career. I don't know what the fuck he would be doing without it. But very difficult. And we're closing off here with a, a classic Bob Saget. Wacky shirt, wacky tie, all around fun guy. Until he went, are they old enough? Let's get as filthy as possible. And that revived him. Did it revive him to the former glory? No. Uh, could, could he have just coasted on America's Funniest Home Videos? Yes. But he didn't want to. Uh, and that's certainly admirable. He looks great here. We would have been nutty about this guy right now. If this kind of guy was happening right now, we'd be crazy about him. Much like the great Ted Wass from Blossom. But these aren't Blossom cards. These are other TGIF sitcom cards, and they're ruining my life. 